We're here again with Nissan's third brand new sedan in a little over a year. First came the Altima, then the Versa, and now the Sentra. Now, despite the American automakers leaving the sedan segment in favor of crossovers and SUVs, there have never been more brand new compact sedans coming out in the last couple of years. There's so many fresh choices. Toyota Corolla, Mazda 3, Kia Forte, Hyundai Elantra, this car, Honda Civic. There's so many choices. Nissan is making major upgrades where they count the body style, interior, comfort, and safety. The 2020 Sentra offers more for less, and sometimes it offers less for less. I'll show you the major changes and which trim level CarGurus recommends. This one's a looker. Nissan's small sedans were getting dorky and out of proportion, and I think that's one reason why people have been switching from compact sedans into compact crossovers. But the new Sentra should win a lot of people back. It's a downscaled version of the Altima, which is a great thing. It's two inches lower and wider than the outgoing Sentra, and for a front-wheel drive car, it carries the balanced proportions and low shoulder lines of a rear-wheel drive car. I don't think the Audi A3 looks as good, and that car costs in the mid-30s. The top Sentra trim, the SR, has the option of a contrasting black roof and 18-inch wheels. It's very sleek. This is the mid-level SV, which comes with 16-inch wheels and halogen headlights, but it doesn't appear base. The silver grille trim blends into this crease along the hood, which flows into the windshield. Then it continues on with this line here that goes into the front door. Blends in really nicely, reappears at the rear, and flows upward toward the tail. These taillights echo the headlights, just as the trunk lid mirrors the V-shaped grille. I also like this body color diffuser. Now, five or ten years ago, economy cars that cost less than $20,000, like the Sentra, didn't have this level of detail and refinement. It's a great time to be alive. The new Sentra feels the same way inside. Flat bottom steering wheel, white stitching on the dash, and these padded armrests all feel upscale. The three circular air vents remind me of Mercedes, and these angular side vents are special too. The climate knobs click with a damped precision, and all the silver trim brightens up the cabin. Fit and finish are quite good, even the harder plastic on the lower part of the dash. But the window and mirror switches don't match the rest of the cabin's quality. For comfort, Nissan's zero-gravity seats up front promise to reduce fatigue. And I gotta say, they've been doing their job. I'm also surprised how roomy it is back here. I don't have to slouch, and my knees aren't rubbing against the front seat. The trunk has 14 cubic feet of storage. My only gripe? Sloped rear window. It might look really big, but it's actually hard to see cars coming up from behind. The Sentra offers only one powertrain, a 2-liter inline-4 with 149 horsepower, 146 pound-feet of torque, an automatic continuously variable transmission, and front-wheel drive. In a car this light, acceleration is decent at city speeds, and the transmission doesn't keep the engine revving to high heaven. But the throttle is a little jumpy off the line, like it's trying to imitate a sportier car. And there's no manual shifting mode or paddle shifters, and I just like that. There is a sport button on the shifter, and that helps on back roads. But sportier drivers, you're losing out. There's no more turbocharged engine, no more Nismo trim, no more six-speed manual. The 2019 Sentra offers more power and performance for slightly more money than the 2020 model. Will those features come back? I think they should. The Corolla has a new sport model available with a manual. The Civic does too, and offers a better turbo engine. But the new Sentra feels more composed than the old one. That's because it's riding on an independent rear suspension. The steering is more accurate on center. Along cruises, the Sentra just feels more stable and sure-footed. It feels like a much larger car. The chassis is very good. And while the CVT is great at keeping the engine in its power band, this Sentra deserves that turbo engine. Fuel economy is rated at 29 mpg city. 39 highway and 33 combined. The SR gets one MPG lower in each of those categories. I've been averaging 30 so far. Navigation isn't offered on the Sentra, but Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard on the SV. The car includes three USB ports and onboard Wi-Fi, but no wireless charging. Still, the eight inch touchscreen is fast and can be customized with the shortcuts you want. Nissan Safety Shield 360 comes standard on every Sentra. That brings both forward and reverse emergency braking. It also has pedestrian and cyclist detection, adaptive cruise, and lane departure and blind spot warning. 
The Civic and Corolla have most of these features as standard, and I'm impressed that the Sentra does too. The 7 inch screen on the instrument panel shows more info and lets you easily disable those driver assists if you prefer. The 2020 Sentra starts at just over $19,000, but we recommend the mid level SV for about $1,200 more. They get the bigger screens, more USB ports, dual zone climate, and keyless entry. Better still is the premium package, which for a couple grand more than that, turns this little car into something high class. You get a sunroof, LED headlights, and best of all, quilted leather that feels like it was pulled out of an infinity. That's the car guru's recommended trim for $23,655 with destination. This test car stickers for just over $21. So much is going right for the 2020 Sentra. It's genuinely stylish. The cabin is upscale, and it's one of the roomiest and most comfortable cars in its segment. I think Nissan should still offer that turbo engine and the manual transmission. Plus, it should add some more technology like it's already done for the Altima. But this new Sentra is a major upgrade. For full details, read my review at cargurus.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.